Hey, this is Tony Aguilar, and here we are again with another playthrough with Armored Commander 2. This is the Patton's best campaign game, and we're on day five with our tank crew. And uh, we had a pretty eventful day uh, yesterday, and um, we can uh, we can preview this by um, by this screen right here. And this is basically everything that we did. Uh, our cruising increased, and we're going to move on to the next day, which is this is day five now. And um, today's mission is going to be to advance. Enemy resistance is scattered, and we are pushing forward. Advance into enemy territory and destroy any resistance. Air support is 80% chance. No artillery support. I don't think we had a day of artillery support yet. Um, we're just... We're out on the tip of the spear, so uh, let's go and take a look at uh, our tank crew is good, and uh, let's go ahead and start the day. We're going to go ahead and go with the default load, and we are running a M4A1 with a 76 millimeter gun with a wet stowage. So um, we're going to tab and continue. Okay, and uh, yeah, this uh, this tank has been doing okay. Um, okay, so let's see. We've got some yellow zones here. This is a capture. There's a capture there and a capture there. Okay, so uh, let's uh, overcast, air support overcast. It's probably uh, reduced or maybe no air support at all. So I've got a river here, and I think it becomes an issue when I'm trying to cross it. There's a little symbol here that that's a ford. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to cross the river this way. Yeah, not available river crossing. So there's got to be like a little ford symbol to be able be able to do that. So we're going to go over to. It's it's we've got to go through that hex. We've got to go through that hex anyway. So um, we're going to do advancing fire. Um, Interesting. Request artillery support is kind of, uh, it's barely highlighted, but uh, okay. So we're going to uh, go ahead and do a recon. Strength of two. Let's go. It's go time. Used up seven HE rounds. No resistance. Oh, uh, the buddies gained a whole lot. So I think what I'm going to do is um, I've got to go to one of these two hexes anyways. I might as well go to the one that's friendly that I know that I'm not going to have any issues. Of course, I'm going to have to cross here in a marsh. I'm not thrilled about that. Let's. Uh, this should be quicker just to go ahead and go through. Well, you know what? Recon 10 minutes, travel time 40 minutes. Travel time, 50 minutes. Well, if time is an issue, let's just go ahead and go through the, uh, let's go through the field then. We can capture another zone. Uh, and um, strength four, we're gonna go ahead and proceed. <laughs> Find no resistance. Okay, so we're going to have to cross through here, so we're going to go Q, let's uh, do a recon, mainly to avoid a 7 or something like that, or higher, unless I can avoid it, uh, if I can avoid it. We're going to go ahead and proceed. Light rain turns into a light mist. Encounter enemy resistance in the mist. So, well, that would explain why I've got guys at point blank range. So, I am concealed. What am I in? I'm around wooden buildings. All right, let's um, let's let's button up the commander. Let's move the commander to direct fire. Let's go to the gunner. We're going to. Fire the gun. Loader is going to go ahead and reload and go and button up. The driver is going to be ready to drive at a moment's notice and button up. And the assistant driver 
is going to mm-hmm. button up and um, le- I'll leave him on spot. We need to have somebody spotting. So, um, okay. So let's see what we got here. Spotted rifleman. Spotted rifleman. Okay. So we've got these two units that our line of sight is blocked. And this one at the line of sight is blocked. So I feel pretty comfortable shooting at this rifleman and not suffering any penalties. Um, it's not like they're going to be able to attack back. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and knock out this rifleman. So let's, um, yeah, we don't need to move or anything. Well, we have a 17% chance of hull down. I don't really want to go hull down with guys right in front of me. Um, let's keep my options open. Let's uh, let's not move and try to increase our chances of, uh, of hitting. Um, okay, so we're going to end the phase. We're going to select the target to the rifleman. Okay, we're going to move to high explosive. And we're going to fire at the target. And there's a 69.5% chance. Got to hit him and maintain rate of fire. Let's give him another one. Got a critical hit and maintain rate of fire. Now, with the unlike if this was like a an un, a half track or something like that, where they're automatically hosed if they get hit by a seventy six millimeter round, the HE is a little different. So I'm going to let them stack. I'm going to just lob a bunch of rounds in there because I don't want any issues. So we're going to go ahead and fire again, and we hit again. Okay, so I think we got a hit, a critical hit, and another hit again. So this should be a lot on the firepower. Do all the fire. Then it was gonna 16 firepower on the rifleman. Destroyed. And 14 firepower on the HMG team. It's destroyed. Concealed unit moves. What is it? We don't know what it is. Okay. So is the line of sight broken? It is. It's blocked. So it doesn't really matter if I was on spot or not. I'm not going to be able to find out what those guys are. Okay. So let's. Uh, we're going to leave him on direct fire. Operate gun. Reload. That's good. Uh, drive is good. We're going to go ahead and unbutton him up. Okay. And um, yeah. We're good with that. Okay. We're going to go ahead and... Pivot the hull and uh, attempt to go hull down. I was unable to go to a hull down position. Okay. And end phase. Panzer Shrek team spotted. Well, they're really far away. I don't know what the range of the Panzer Shrek is, but I guarantee that they will not be able to fire from from um, three hexes away. And I. I'm going to bank that they probably can't fire from two hexes away, but I am going to move because I do not want to get in a situation where they're next door to me because that's deadly if you get hit by one of those. So we're going to go ahead and uh, line of sight is broken, right? Yeah, and they're in wooden buildings. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, let's go on up to the commander. We're going to have him direct movement. Gunner's going to operate the gun. Loader's going to reload. Driver is going to drive. And assistant driver, we're going to leave. We're going to button him up. Okay. Let's, um, we don't, we don't need him exposed. Okay. And we're going to try to do a reverse. I have a 25% chance of doing a reverse. Or, um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's, um, let's reverse. Perfect. That's exactly where we want him. We want him out there at that distance. Okay. And, um, and end the phase. Shrek team moves. Okay, and it's still hidden back there. Okay, uh, so we're going to go ahead and um, end the phase. We're going to go ahead and rotate the hull and try to go reverse again. 
I moved but not far enough to enter a new map hex and line of sight is still blocked here. So nothing we can do about that. Okay. Maybe one of the other Shermans get a, get a chance to move at him or whatever. So now you move from the fields into some wooden buildings. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're good with everything else. We're going to try to do a, um, let's do a reposition. So that way I'm moving within this hex, but uh, I don't, I mean, he's at three away. That's where I'd love to keep him at. So we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to go ahead and uh, reposition. And yeah, I'm fine being in the, let's, let's see if we can move into the wooden buildings. And I moved into some wooden buildings. And the wooden buildings apparently were in line of sight of these other wooden buildings. So now we can fire at the target, okay? Uh, we need to rotate the turret. Now we can fire at the target. Okay, there's only a 5% chance. We're gonna go ahead and do it anyways in case we get another rate of fire on it, okay? So uh, we're going to continue. And I missed, I did not get another rate of fire chance. So, um, and we're done with the phase. There's three of us. I was spotted, that's fine. It moves, but not far enough to a new hack. So there he goes, he ends up going invisible again. Um, We'll just see if he moves. Yeah, he wants to move closer. Now stay in line of sight. Okay, he did. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and direct fire. Okay. Um, we're going to, let's, let's crew expose the assistant driver, see if that's making a difference. Um, yeah, and I think we're good with that. We're going. To, we're not going to move. We're going to. Ro oh, the turret's already rotated over there. So let's fire at the target. It's on HE. And um, you know what? Hold on a second. Let's escape. Let's cancel this. I want to put the ready rack in use. Okay, so uh, that way I have a better chance of getting, I have a 37% chance of getting a rate of fire thing on it. I, he's He showed himself, so let's go ahead and put some HE on target. So we're going to go ahead and fire then, and 35.5% chance. So, uh, here we go. And I missed, and no second round. Maybe the other Shermans can see him. There's three of us there. Okay, he moved. What did he move into? Wooden buildings. Uh, okay, let's... Um, let's fire at him again. 5% chance. A point 5% chance. Didn't get a, a repeat shot. Now it moves further away. I guess it didn't like that. Okay. And we missed. I'm like the only Sherman firing at him. Guess he's hard to hit when they're moving. We're 
We're going to go ahead and move back. I'm, I'm tired of this nonsense. Oh, now we had a fire. Well, yeah, I, I can't I can't hit him worth uh, anything. I've got to basically try to get a second shot that has a good chance. It was a 0.5% chance to hit, and I rolled a 0 0.6. So it just went right over their heads. Okay. Okay, it moved further away. We made him leave the board. I don't know if I've seen them. I don't know if I've seen them that happen before. Okay, so um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, move. That's interesting. I didn't capture this zone. Okay, heavy downpour. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move E. And we're going to go ahead and do, oh, let's look at our, uh, let's unbutton these guys. E, and we're going to go ahead and do um, a recon. Strength of four. Well, we got to pretty much capture that. I shouldn't have even done a recon. I should just go in. Um, but I'm only saving 10 minutes, so it's it's nothing. It's nothing to do. Use 10 HE rounds, okay? No resistance. Okay, so we've got these two other zones here we need to capture as well. So we're going to go to these hills, okay? And we're going to do a recon there, strength of two, of three. And we're going to go ahead and proceed. Encounter enemy resistance. One unit. Okay. Let's go ahead and put uh, the commander on direct fire. Operate the gun. Reload and um, now let's have him uh, manage the ready rack. We need to fill that thing back up. Okay, and, but we don't need to be unbuttoned. And the driver will be, of course, what the driver does. And this guy will just be on spotting. Okay, and let's see what we have. A martyr two. Okay, and he is facing me, right? Okay, what am I in? I'm concealed and I'm in hills. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and end the phase. Uh, I have a 37% chance of going hull down. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pivot the hull. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and attempt to go hull down. <laughs> I was unable to move into a hold down position. We're going to move the ammunition to AP. Let's look at what our chance to hit him is. It's 5%. I'm not going to unconceal myself for that. So we're going to cancel that and we're going to um, end the phase. Okay. Okay, and he didn't do anything. So let's do direct fire, operate gun. How, did I, how do I miss this ready rack thing? I'm doing that a lot. It must be on the next screen. I, I'm missing it. So let's go ahead and do end phase. Okay. And we're going to... Um, shit. Uh, we're going to let's fill it full of AP. Okay, we may need to react to a vehicle quickly. All right, so um, yeah, let's go to <sighs> I didn't move. Should I go hold down? Let's go hold down while he's um, 
has not spotted me. And I move into a hold down position. Okay, and the hold down position still has line of sight to the to the martyr. Okay. So we're going to um, fire at the target. I have a 5.5% chance. We're not going to do that. We're going to fire at him initially when we didn't move. Okay, so uh, yeah, my attacker moving is a minus 60. So we don't want to incur that if we don't need to. So we're going to escape and we're going to end the phase. And he didn't do anything again. All right, well now what we're gonna do is we're going to move him to reload. Okay, and we're going to direct fire. Okay, that's good. We're going to, we're good with that. And we are going to put ready rack in use. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and fire. And there's a 19% chance, but a 37% chance of getting a rate of fire uh, as a second round on. So here we go. I hit him, but it didn't get a second round. He's probably toast unless I ease hold down or something. Yeah. Yeah, Martyr 2 can't handle a uh, 76 AP round. Okay. Okay, victory. Nobody else remains in the area. Okay, now D. And we're going to go ahead and do a recon, a strength of six. Well, we have to do that. That's what our mission is. So, And we're undamaged and have two other tanks with me. So I'm not going to come up with excuses not to go in there. So that's what we're here for. Okay. Encounter enemy resistance. Okay, well, I got somebody in my face. Let's go ahead and um, direct fire. Close the hatches. Operate the gun. Let's go ahead and let the loader do a spot, okay? And, um, and and crew expose so he can see everywhere. The driver, we're not gonna crew expose him, but we're gonna be ready to do a drive on him. And the assistant driver, he can also do a spot. So that way we got a chance with the, um, with the loader and the assistant driver, okay? And um, yeah, that will work. And it's an Opal Blitz in front of us. And what do we have? A half track all the way over there and an unknown unknown over here okay well, we don't know what that is um yeah we need to nail this uh the opel blitz the opel blitz truck so that uh he doesn't discharge uh, an infantry unit in our face now i'm concealed okay so let's um we're not going to attempt hold down or anything there's only a seven percent chance of doing that we're going to go ahead and uh We're going to go ahead and, um, you know, if this is a gun or something over here, I would sure like my the front of my hull to be pointed that way. Um, but let's just let it ride, okay? Um, we're going to end the phase, okay? And um, let's switch to uh, high explosive. Okay, and not use the ready... Well, let's use the ready rack. Maybe we can get another round in there. And, um, yeah, fire at the target. Got him. Certainly toast. Unless there's some chance of getting a dud or something like that. It was carrying an HMG team, so they're down now. Okay, so... Um, right, the command phase. So let's leave everything exactly where it is, okay? The only thing we're gonna do different is we're gonna switch to armor piercing. And we're gonna go ahead and rotate the turret over there and uh, select the target being that one. 
and fire a target, we have a 3.5% chance. So let's go ahead and, um, and fire it. Okay, I got a critical hit and a maintain rate of fire. Okay, because that, that half track is basically not deadly to me, I'm going to move forward with only the critical hit and not fire again. Okay, so we're going to say try to save ammo. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue. And, and that was the right call. All right. And who was on the half track? Supplies. Okay. Oh, somebody has another unit over there in line of sight. Okay. So, um, the only thing we're going to do is, uh, let's, let's leave everything the same. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and uh, pivot the hole. And we're going to attempt to, um, what am I in right now? I'm on broken ground. Let's see what the repositioning is. I don't have a good chance of going in wooden buildings. So I'm going to try attempt to go hold down. Unable to move. Okay. And that's the end of that phase for me. Okay. So we're going to do basically the same thing. And move into a hold down position. Awesome. Okay. We're going to rotate the turret back and um, The other Shermans are concealed unit moves. Well, now we have line of sight to him, but we don't know what he is. Um, I'm still concealed, so I'm going to lay low, operate gun. Let's go ahead and, um, yeah, let's wait him out. Oh, it's a half track. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and fire at the target. Not a five, not a point five. We're not going to. Oh, the other Shermans are fire. The other Sherman fired at him at least one. Oh, he moves closer. He stays in line of sight. We're going to go ahead and fire. Missed. Okay. You know, the two Shermans fire at him and miss him as well. Now it's 43.5% chance. And it got rate of fire. Um, yeah, we'll fire again. This is not critical. All right, well, it was a miss on the second one. And he penetrated him. Okay. And we killed him, and he was transporting ammo. Okay. And that's a victory. Okay, now we're up to 26 points. Now let's look at the uh, ammo situation here. I'm 19 rounds of HE. We need to fill up the ready rack. So we're going to, um, we'll put four AP in there and we'll put two HE in the ready rack. Okay. And, um, right. Let's see if we can. I don't know if this is making a difference. If I show up entering the zone crew exposed before the spotting round, but uh, hey, I'm gonna 
I'm going to give that a shot. Sir Recon. Seven. Still going to go in. As if I do resupply there, they're just going to counterattack me. No resistance. Interesting. Okay, that was the last... Um, yeah, that was the last... Wow, that, that was the last yellow area on the map, so we need to move to the rest of the map. Now, we've got some of the day left. Let's look at the ammo situation now. I'm down to 10 rounds of HE. I'm going to have to do a resupply, and I know they're probably just going to counterattack me. No, 30 minutes. Yeah, give me the standard load. Yep. All right, now... I think I could capture these two just on my way out. So we're going to go ahead and um, do Q. And um, what's a recon look like? Four? Let's go in. Let's go. I encounter enemy resistance. Okay. The ground has become wet. Okay, we got two units. One is spotting uh, within line of sight, and one's over here. So we have a line of sight to him. We just don't know what the heck it is. I'm in wooden buildings, and I'm hull down. Now, I don't know if it means I'm hull down only to the front, um, but I'm not going to move, okay, because I want I want to stay hull down, and uh, I don't want to risk that. Um, we're going to put the commander on direct fire. We're going to put the gunner on... Operate gun. We're going to put the loader on a spot. We're going to put the driver also on spot. Now, you know, as soon as I do that, I'll, I'll need to move and won't be able to. Okay? But we're butting him up. And um, the assistant driver is on spot. Okay. So, end phase. It's a truck. Okay, nothing to worry about. False alarm. Um, right, so let's um, end that phase. We're going to rotate the turret. We're going to select the target. We're going to fire at the target. We are on HE. There's a 14% chance. That's not too bad. All things considered. But I missed. Okay. Opel Blitz moves closer. Uh, whatever this is, it fires back. And I'm out of the line of sight of it. So hopefully this um, this Sherman tank here uh, will fire back at him or something. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... We're going to go ahead and fire at the target. Now we have 38% chance. And we missed there. I was spotted by the truck. Well, I'm not worried about it. Now he's at point blank range. Okay. We, um,. Yeah, let's go ahead and button him up. Button him up. And we're good with that. We're good with that. We're going to um, fire at the target and got a hit. It's a goner. It's transporting riflemen now destroyed. Okay. Ah, it was destroyed by a concealed unit. So whatever that is, that's something ugly.
Okay, so we'll find out if he has a line of sight to the other guy. Um, let's, um, hmm. I'm hold down. I really don't want to move. I'll break, uh, let's just, let's let it ride for another turn. We're going to rotate uh, the turret. Concealed unit repositions itself. Okay, now it's visible. Or now there's line of sight to it. And it's a Martyr 3M. Okay. We're going to move to armor piercing and fire at the target. No, we're not. Not with a 5% chance. Not with only a 0.5. Well, I could get another round out. Got 23 rounds. Yeah. I missed. He already had me spotted anyways, so I didn't want to end up kicking myself if that was the case that I didn't uh, have that, so. Well. That was a 39% chance. I missed and didn't get another round. The other Sherman's moving. Uh-oh, the Martyr's attacking me. He has a 17% chance. Missed me. Okay, we're going to go here and we're going to move him to manage the ready rack because we're going to put some more AP in there. Um, yeah, everything else is good. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add five rounds of AP. And... We're using the ready rack, five rounds. I now I have 54% chance. And I hit, and that's it. Didn't get another one. Yep. Toast. No enemy units remain in the area. Okay. Now, interesting, everything is captured except these two zones here. So I'm going to move to one of these and I can advance the map. I'm going to move to this one because I'll have more options to attack once I join the other area. And I'm not going to do a recon. We're just going to go ahead and do something. That's going to make uh, the map move and see. Hopefully we got some uh, yellow zones we can do something with. Well, the yellow zone is kind of far away. Is there only one? Now there's one here. And there's here that's also a recon. So, all right, so let's go ahead. How much time we have? We might be able to get to it if we don't. Uh, I, I want to be able to recon. I, I don't want at the end of the day to step into a nine. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and recon that. Strength zone of one. And we're going to go ahead and proceed. Nothing. Oh, look at that. It's friendly controlled. So let's go ahead and come up here and press it. Okay, allied held zone. Okay, and I'm going to move into either one of these two. Let's check out this one first and do a recon. Strength of two. Let's proceed. No resistance. Now we can go A, recon, and completed an objective. 
Now, what is this worth? This is worth three capture victory points. So is that one. And I've already scouted this one. How are we doing on ammunition? We're good. Let's go. Enemy resistance. Great, I got guys right in front of me. I'm concealed and I'm in wooden buildings, but I got a guy right next to me. And it's raining and the ground's wet. Okay, so let's put um, the commander on. Let's come back to him. This is obviously going to be operate the gun. We're going to have him spot. Uh, we're going to have the driver drive. We're going to have the assistant driver spot. Interesting. I don't have anybody in the zone here. Well, in that case, uh, yeah, the commander will go ahead and spot with him as well. Okay, that's what we're going to do. We spotted rifleman. And I don't know what this other element is. Okay, we're going to go ahead and um, pivot the hull. And we are going to um, move to high explosive. And we're going to fire at the target. Oh, we're going to select the target. And we're going to uh, fire at the target. Oh, I got to move the turret. There we go. 26% chance. Okay. Missed him. And a stud. I was spotted by the rifleman. Hopefully they don't attack me because I have some unbuttoned hatches. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a couple things here. Let's, uh, what kind of, what do they move into? They are in, they're moving, but they're moving through fields. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, let's go to the commander is going to go ahead and direct fire. The gunner is going to operate gun. The loader is going to button up. Same thing with the commander. He's going to button up as well. Um, I'll have him do a reload. Okay. And, um, right. Missed it, not by much, by 1%. Rifleman attacks me with grenades. That's why we're buttoned up. So there's they have a 90% chance of hitting me. Okay, so grenades landed around me. But they only have a 2.7% chance. Well, let's not laugh it off because it could be deadly. No. No penetration. Okay. Um, I'm concerned if they would have a Panzerfaust. That would be bad. Um, I'm not worried about grenades. I'm worried about a Panzerfaust. Okay, so um, nothing changes um, other than fire again. Maintain rate of fire. Fire again. Hit. That's two hits. Okay, looks like the other Sherman fired at the uh, the stud. I uh, must have line of sight to him. Okay, and the uh, riflemen are destroyed. Okay, so direct fire, reload, drive, spot. Okay, I see everything looks good. We're going to attempt to go hull down. Unable to move into hull down position. Okay, end of phase. And the other Sherman 
knocked out the stug through the rear. Victory! Combat day is ended. Okay, so we had a successful day here. We got uh, five battles fought. Resistance was, seemed like it was kind of light today. Um, captured 11 map areas, 10 gun hits, 7 vehicles destroyed. So, no guns destroyed. I haven't encountered a single gun um, this campaign, which is really strange. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue and see if our guys got any skills. Okay, the gunner and the loader got a skill check. A skill improvement. Let's go ahead and go to um, the tank and crew. And uh, F. Let's add a skill, see what we got left. Reduces effect of precipitation, target focus, and eagle eyed when hatches open increases. Okay, let's, uh, what's time on target? Greatly increases chance of rate of fire. Well, right now I don't want to get this guy killed, so let's go ahead and make him a gymnast so he can get out of here in case things things go south. We have time to improve those other things at a later date. And the loader, okay, and I believe there wasn't a skill that was worth worthy of him other than train commander or gunner. Uh, let's go ahead and make him a, uh, a train commander, okay? All right, and um, yeah, that's it. So looking through, this is the journal of what happened today. So uh, we ran the whole day and um, yeah, and did, oh, hold on a second. Are we looking at the right day? We weren't looking at the right day. Aha. It threw it off because I saw a Hetzer on there. And I'm, I don't remember seeing a Hetzer today. Yeah, so we knocked out a, a Martyr, a uh, uh, two Martyrs, just a, a Martyr 2 and a Martyr 3M, and uh, some half tracks, and looks like a couple trucks. So, uh, and basically wiped the whole map clean. So that's good. Okay, so uh, that's it. If uh, we made it through five days here with um, this crew. So anyhow, um, hopefully you're enjoying watching these. I'm enjoying doing them. And um, we will see uh, you guys in the next time what uh, day six bring us, brings us to. And this is, again, Armored Commander 2. This is the Patton's best uh, campaign playthrough. Uh, I'm Tony Aguilar, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye.